So as a part of that, I said, okay, I don't want to be left out on this. And I said, what would you guys be interested in actually doing your own pursuit series and picking your own barrel from there? It sounds really fun. Andy said, absolutely. We're in. Yeah. So today we have five different barrels in front of us. We have three bourbons and two ryes. Not even to tell you which is which. Okay. So it's... We're just going to kind of go in complete. Well, I know what they are. You know. I'm going to let you all go completely blind and just Ooh, kind of so exciting. figure this out as Love you go. So, Three bourbons, two rise. Exactly. Okay. And any of them uh, varietals of uh, bourbon, like a weeded or a toasted or a four grain? No. So they're all traditional three grain mash bills all right. coming out of here. I can dig up a little bit of the information as you request it as we go in. This is like it's a like, spelling bee. I was about to say it's like a spelling bee. <laughs> fucking stoke yeah. on this. Yeah, I mean, like, all right, give me a minute. I got to go and look at the origin of where this grain came from real quick. <laughs> Use it in a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> we, we can try. We can try. Oh, man. But I will let you all kind of go through here and, and start nosing and tasting and, and kind of going along and kind of figure out what you want. Push stuff aside. If you need seconds, yeah. feel free. There's cool. plenty to kind of go around here, but I'm excited to be able to have you all here to choose a barrel of this and talk bourbon and whiskey and apparently now rye whiskey as well. Barely. So fun. So, Love it. yeah. Kyle, you've been in a rye whiskey at all? Or are you just like, hey, I'm equal opportunity? Equal opportunity over here. Still, it's all part of the ride for me. <laughs> We feel like, I feel like we get a good mix of random stuff in the green room, yeah. either through gift or what, like we request something that's easy because like you're usually sending somebody to go do your booze shopping for you. And when they do that, a lot of them have, don't know. And so I'm like, what do I know that they'll be able to find that we can drink and it'll be good? Turkey 101, 101 gobbles. Great. Let's do it. Always safe. And then occasionally we get really surprised. Like the other day, somebody got us the bottled and bond old overholt. And I'd never, I didn't even know they made one. And I was jazzed. It was pretty good. It was tasty as all get out. So we've had Turkey 101 Rye, the Bardstown Solo in the, the Squat Fat Glass uh, jar. And we just got given a uh, store pick Old Elk bottled uh, or cask strength, 120 something. Old Elk's good stuff. They're doing really good things out. This will be my first taste of Old Elk. I've never had any. Oh, well, you came to the right place. I can hook you up with after we get done recording here. Hell too. Yeah. So, yeah. We can get into that for sure. Well, where do we start? Well, I'd say go from left to right. That's how I've got them all out here. And uh, I don't know how many, how many barrel selections have you done before, guys? Never. We've uh, well, literally, we didn't even do a barrel select when we went to Oak and Eden. It's basically like you've got a few different rubrics or metrics by which you can create. It, it almost feels like adult Build-A-Bear with liquor. <laughs> so that is what they should go with from now on. I, it's, what I, it's what I would market it as. It. 